Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video we're going to see that how can we convert one machine learning projects into Google Chrome extensions. For this you're going to be using here the Python and the Flux framework in order to build the web applications, right? So without wasting any time I'm going to start a tutorial now. In last five or six months ago, I already make one video on that. How can you detect the fake news using the natural language processing technique? So I'm going to using here the same technique and I'm going to apply this, apply this technology on my Google Chrome extensions. That's mean I'm going to actually using these fake news detection projects and convert it into the Google Chrome extensions. So for that, what I need to do, we already actually train the model, right? Using the decision tree classifier in my uh, previous video, that's I actually make that. So if you miss this out, so please check this out the video how can you make one a fake news classifier using the machine learning right so this is the code for that so i do some changes on that just changes means i uh, actually changing uh, the algorithm we use here the decision tree yes you can also do that but i actually use here the sbm or you can say sbc uh, support back to the classifier right so so after training the model you can actually get here the two files um, if you if you see the video so one is a model file and another one is nothing but the vector file so this vector is nothing but actually consisting all the vector of the world and this is nothing but my model training file in the pickle format so in order to making one web applications uh we need these two files right vector.pickle file and also the model.pickle file but we do this in in the stream lead applications but now what i need to do we need to simply convert them into the uh web application by a flux right so that's why you need to do this thing. So we're actually Flux. Uh, Flux is nothing but one a framework or you can say a library in Python. Uh, using this, you can actually do the web development. So using this, you can also create the REST API. So what you should do, we do the same process here. We actually creating here one REST API so that we can fast it in our local server. So now one thing, one important thing is uh, we actually run this Google Chrome extension in our local server. I mean, your local host. If you're trying to uh, develop this application, this whole applications in the uh, Heroku or any other platform like AWS or Google Cloud platform, you can actually do that, right? So in this case, just we're going to run this file and we are going to uh, convert these applications into the Google Chrome extension, right? So let's go on here. So see, we actually load our model and also the vectorizer. And actually import here some uh, necessary library like we are going to import here the Flux and also request and JSONify because we need to pass the data. You need to pass the data using the JavaScript. So you can also see here some JavaScript file, a manifest.json file. I actually discuss about that, what actually happening here. So also import the PCAL and JSONify and the render template. Render template is nothing but my uh, render the template inside my templates folder. So here on index.html file actually appear. So this is nothing but my index.html higher uh, one window actually pop up or your application will pop up. So let's run the code file right now. Then you can actually understand what actually happening here. So I'm going to just go here and run the code here. And then you can understand. I actually go that through that all the code line by line. Don't worry on that. So video is quite be long or maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Just patience, be patient and try to do that because this is the most important part, right? So follow the link and you can see uh, okay, let's close it. You can see this is nothing but my UI, right? So fake news directions, uh, one text box and also one predict button, right? So uh, let's say I, I'm going to type here the high predict. Uh, this, this needs to be fake, right? So this is this is how it actually work. Now we're going to convert them into one Google Chrome extension so that you can actually use it. So this is nothing but my Brave browser. So maybe it's not working on this case. Uh, we also do it in our Google Chrome. So make sure you uh, install the Google Chrome on your machines, right? So that's why I run this code. Now what you need to do, uh, we actually calling this index.html. This is nothing but my home page. So how I need type here any tags inside my tax box and click on the predict button, click on the predict button, it will actually call on method for a post, right? I mean, it will actually call on functions. So it will take the text set from my text, my text boxes. So that's why if I go on here, uh, you can see uh, it having one uh, text box. You can see the prediction button and also one text box, right? Name equal to text. So that's why it actually taking the input from the text box and uh, it will try to predict them and also make it justify. Now the problem is why it will make it justify because you're going to 
uh, add it in our Google Chrome extension and it also call the jQuery. So that's why, right? So if I go on my manifest.json file, you can see here, uh, this is nothing but my description and some icon here and you can see popup.html. Popup.html. That's mean this index.html is not working on this case. It will call this popup.html. This is nothing but for my server side. I mean, if I try to uh, test it out in a server side, you can actually, it is calling the index.html. But, 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 because it will actually convert them into the uh, Google Chrome extension. So in this case, the Python Flux is not working. We actually using this app.py as a server at my local server and index.html is a local index.html file. It is not running on the Google Chrome extension. That's mean it's canceled. Right, so we actually convert this application into the popup.html. Simple. I mean, we copy the, all the file from the index.html and paste it inside by popup.html. It will pop up, right? Pop up one frame where you can actually give the text and you can do the predict that you see the earlier, right? So just pass the code here, and you can see the fake new rejection and it will take in the new text and the submit button and the predict result like that. All are the same as it is, right? All are the same as it is. They are taking the input from the users and actually are taking the predictions uh, by the justify. Then you can see here background.js. Background.js is nothing but my uh, running your application in the background. And you can see it chrome.browser actions. Make sure you use the Chrome, Google Chrome, right? And on click, when you're clicking the extension button and it will calling on functions and creating one extension that's called the popup.html. That's when you click this extension, it will open the popup.html because server site i mean the website or a web browser don't know what is the python file it should know about the js file or the html file it is showing up right so that's why and you can also see here the popup.html and also one file it's called popup.js this popup.js actually help you to give the predictions right give the prediction that's coming from your server site how many you actually give your own text inside your popup.html it will go on the popup.js then you can see it actually taking the input from the news text Right, and when I click the submit button, it will actually calling for waiting for the local host. See one thing, local host. This is nothing but my local server. If you actually uh, develop these web applications inside one Heroku server or any AWS or the Google platform, you can give here the link. But right now, I need to run this file, then develop these full applications inside my Google Chrome. Right. So this is how it actually works, this is fake. So don't read on the code, uh, just a simple code and I'll put this code link in the video description. You can actually got it from here, okay? Don't read on that. And now what I'm gonna do, we simply go inside my uh, folder and we're gonna do making another folder for that and pass it all the file from here, right? Okay, so what I can do, we can simply copy all the file and I'm gonna copy that and I'm going to create here a new folder. Uh, let's say new folder, let's call ML. And I'm going to pass it all the file, right? So now our all file is actually uh, coming inside my folder. So now what I can do, we can simply go inside my uh, Google Chrome. So well, so right now we are in the Google Chrome. So now what I'm gonna do, we can simply click on here and go to the extensions and manage extensions. So make sure that your Google uh, Chrome developer mode is on. Okay, in my case it's already on, that's why. So you need to on that and you can get here three button. First one is called the load and back. So you need to clicking on this button and you need to select here your folder. So my folder is nothing but inside my ML folder and I'm going to select the folder. Okay, so when you select the folder, you can see a Chrome extension that predict whether news article are likely to be fake or not. That's when it is working, uh, fine. Now what I'm going to do, you can uh, simply going to see here the extensions and you can see here this is the extension, right? So when you next open it, you can see here one pop-up window actually open, uh, fake news directions and how you enter the text, it will try to predict them. So if I try to predict, let's say hi and click it to predict, it's not working. But why it's not working? Because the server is not running up. The server is not running up. That's an app by py file is not running. So that's why it is not working, right? So how you upload this app.py in a server like Heroku or the AWS, or the Google platform, cloud platform, it will working in the real time. The extension will work in the real time. But in this case, I am not going to upload it. I just show it up as the experimental purpose or the teaching purpose. I will show it in a my local server. So now what I'm gonna do, you can simply run the app.py, right? So this is nothing but my app.py. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open my uh, BS code. 
and I'm simply going to run my app.py file. This file, just going to run it here. And how it is run it, uh, your link, I mean, your the, what is called the local host link will appear. If I go on here, the JS file, you can see the HTTP local host, the 5000 and underscore predict. So that's why it's not working. Make sure you need to upload this file, this app.py file in a server, but I'm using my local server, right? So it is restart the Windows API, maybe getting some error, uh, the vectorizer error maybe. Yes, how you follow the link and you can type here anything else. That's going to be working fine. Now to go on the Google Chrome. Uh, this is my Google Chrome. You can see here the errors, right? So if I see the errors, that's means it's uh, that a request fail. That's mean it unable to connect the uh, server. Right now our server is opening, so we can actually open that. So let's go on here and open it again. And I'm going to type here like say hi. And click here to predict and you can see this news is fake. That's mean it's really working fine. Now we're going to test it out in the real, uh, our real newses. So let's say USA Today News. USA Today News. Let's copy one news from here, right? Uh -huh. Let's copy uh, Life Well. Let's say, just copy this one. And you can also go on here. Just click on the extension button and you can see here the fake news uh, detection. It will open and you can paste it and you can predict it. This news is fake like that, <laughs> maybe. So this is how we actually uh, actually convert them, right? Convert them into the uh, Google Chrome extensions using Python and Flux also, right? So that's it for today now. Hope you enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe to the channels and don't forget to hit the bell icon and I'll be back with the other tutorials. So till then take care and bye-bye.